And so it was all like this. She came in there and was like, Bleh! and then she went the other way, but it was a restricted area. But she still entered. Then he, he deceived her. And she thought it was so over. Oh my, oh, horrible. What? But then she came and saved her. So eventually there was a happy ending. <laughs> Even though I watched this series, I didn't understand a thing. And what exactly didn't you understand? I told everything as it was. Why don't we make a super cool huh? book based on the Wednesday series to avoid confusion? Oh, yeah. I love this idea. Let's do it. Hi, all. So Sam and I made a bet on who will tell Wednesday's story the best. And now it's my turn. Friends, support me with a thumbs up. Our Wednesday gets into Nevermore and meets her roommate, a werewolf. They both need to correspond to Nevermore's dress code, but it is challenging. Ina just loves bright colors, especially pink, but everyone in Nevermore should wear blue uniform, luckily only in class. So for some other events like parties and strolling, Ina always wears pink. Oh, but here's another exception, the Edgar Allan Poe cup. Even Enid was dressed in black there and wore a pair of cat ears. And afterwards, she happily got back to her room and changed into a very cozy nightgown. Aw, so cute! Wednesday, on the other hand, from day one, stuck to her favorite men in black style. It all comes from the family. The Adamses all look alike. They don't recognize any other colors when it comes to fashion. Luckily, there are events in Nevermore where black fits perfectly. Like when Wednesday became a part of Black Cat's team. <laughs> or when she went to the ball. Yep, her dress was also black, not white. The main thing here is to find the best matching hairstyle. Well, Ina didn't like that choice, but she's the kind one and didn't argue. But if our fashion designer Sam would someday come to Nevermore, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone changed their outfits to bright pink ones, even thing. <laughs> Wednesday didn't like to study at school, but she was happy with the poke up. There were a lot of competitors, but definitely the toughest one were Bianca and Yoko. The most favorite and long-awaited entertainment in the monster school was boat race. The preparations were hot. Everyone in school came to cheer. So the girls got to the start line, checked in themselves and their gear. They have to cross the lake, get the flag, and bring it to the judges. And the race is on. The competitors have started. Wish them luck. And Wednesday won! Enid is very happy. Even Wednesday joins the celebration. Ah! Oh. Wednesday is not very emotional, unlike Enid or Sammy. <laughs> the award ceremony will take place in a festive environment at the ball. It was called the Raven Dance. Wednesday came there with Tyler. Can someone beat her in dancing, not just in boat racing? Well, I guess that's impossible. <laughs> Wednesday's just too good at everything. After the competition and the ball, it's so nice to come home for the holidays. Despite their terrible horror, the Adams family loves each other very much. Each of them has a role in the family. Let's say they share responsibilities. Lurch is a personal driver. Although it was a challenge to find a car, he's too tall. Thing fits easily everywhere. He's the Adams' most trusted helper. Gomez is the head of the family, and he always does what Morticia wants. And here's Pugsley, but no one should ever offend him, except for Wednesday. Gomez and Morticia also studied at Nevermore, and most of all, they love playing hide and seek. Imagine what would happen if the Adams family gathered in Nevermore? Anyway, Wednesday goes back and immediately gets into a secret order. 
I didn't tell you anything about the order. Only few people know about it. All its secrets are written in this magical book. And I'll be writing down my secrets from Sam here. You won't tell him anything, will you? Let's hide it under the frame and he won't find out anything. <gasps> what a thing! Not Wednesday's helper, but an object! <laughs> I love anti-stress toys. You squish it for a couple of minutes and feel better. Okay, I got distracted a little. Let's get back to our story. What were we talking about? Oh yes, Wednesday plunged into school life again. Enid and Wednesday, very different at first, began to bond. Wednesday wouldn't admit it, but she got to like Enid. Eventually, they became best friends. Everybody at school were like pieces of a one puzzle. I guess that's what the headmistress was actually going for. From day to day, magical powers were growing inside the students. In the end, they decided to unite them. And they were able to sort of turn back time and return to the day it all started. Look, we ended up at the day one. Enid and Wednesday are together. Only now they're not rivals, but allies. So yeah, everything ended quite well. Oh, by the way, where's our Sam? It's time to find him. Here I am! And I have a surprise trick for you! One, two, three, look! <gasps> oh my god, Sammy! You made the book flat! Oh, what is left in it? Oh, phew! At least Enid and Wednesday are here! It's time for them to take their places on the cover! Girls, come on! Phew! Enid and Wednesday are already in place! Only one thing is missing! Just a second! And done! <laughs> of course you had to show that this is your book! And what will we have on the other side? Oh yes, here's our Sam again! Great! Girls, wait a bit and we'll merge you into the book! Sam the superior builder and designer knows what… Whoa, whoa! Wow. Huh. Oh wow, you already have the design! Well done! Now I'll glue it and then we'll go inside! Oh look! Wednesday decorated her half of the room all by herself! Hey, then I'll take care of the furnishings of Enid's half! Uh-huh! <laughs> It's so good to see you, Wednesday. You'll help us. If we work together, it'll be much faster. Sammy, you don't mind, right? The main thing for you to do is to ask me what and how to do. No problem. We'll do everything under your strict control. Great. Then let's get to work. What will you and Wednesday do? Make a pig. Hey, don't push. I'll tackle everything now. Oh, show me what's in this hand. Ooh, hair. It means you and Wednesday will take care of the wigs. <laughs> we'll see who has the best ideas here! <laughs> In the meantime, while they're busy, I'll prepare the outfits. And the wigs for Enid are done! Hey, Wednesday's got some hairstyles too! <laughs> you both did great! Now it's my turn! I'll put everything in its place! Uh-huh, and this goes there! Hurry up, wigs! The book spread is closing! Well… Is everyone here? Then let's move on! You can try, but you won't defeat me! Stop! <laughs> stop! I have something better in mind than arguing! Remember the boat race? Who'll participate this time? The boats are here, but there are no participants so far! I know! I'll bring those who's in my team! Choose whomever you want! My team will win! Wait for now! You better compete on the actual field! Here's the star! The dice went flying! <laughs> so what do we have next? Hey, I can do some stuff too! Here! Oh, thanks! Oh, these are some beautiful chips! Na, 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 na. <gasps> yeah! 
You can do that too? Oh, it's so great to craft when both of you are so much involved. Wanna see a trick? Hop and all the families together. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> all done. How do you like it? Wow, well done, Sammy. It's time to move on to the next book spread. Here we'll glue the figures of Wednesday and Thing. They will hide. Drum roll. <laughs> Let me find where they will hide. Uh, and here it is, the notebook. Uh, let me check it out. Maybe I'll find something interesting. Feel free to do that. There's a lot of useful stuff in that purse. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I found, the Angie's dress doll. All right, here it is. I love these dolls. And we have the next spread in line. Where is it? I know where it is. I took care of some things and prepared it. Oh, how kind of you. And I prepared the coloring pages. Hey! <laughs> I can't resist it when Sue and I are crafting! And you already started coloring. Cool! In the meantime, we'll still have one more book spread. I urgently need to show off my talents here! On top, there's a place for hearts. Sammy, have you seen the puzzle? Yep! I put everything together in a beautiful envelope! Great! And we're done with our playbook. Well, almost. We only need to glue the cover. Enid and Wednesday are already waiting for us there. Sammy, call the toys! Let's tell them the story! Please, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something unbelievable. Once the sweetest little girl got into Nevermore, a school full of monsters. Ooh, spooky, right? She had to overcome her challenges when she. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? You had to stay behind the curtains. Unbelievable! And right behind my back too. The story finale was awesome. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.